Hey guys, literally just woke up like five minutes ago. We are headed down to Cape Town this morning and I uh, still have my, my bed hair. I still have to eat. Still have to do everything else. And, like you need to do in the morning, like put yourself into the car, pack your toiletries, stuff I have to do. So. can barely see anything but it's just so peaceful it's like a painting actually but we're just reversing the car to get out and uh, that was a can and we're gonna go down to Cape Town now so see you now The summer's calling The summer's calling If the kingdom is overthrown Meet me at the cornerstone I know that I can't be without you This bond is solid gold We're a diamond and an emerald it took me forever to find you Cause when it's all over The love that you give Will be there to guide you in every way Now we've been Through the cold and darkest day The summer's cold We wait for the smoke to clear And we watch our dreams appear I know that we can rise together So we're about half an hour away from our destination and I'm just gonna give an update of what's actually happening So as some of you may know I'm going to Australia, moving there And in the process I've left Johannesburg which is the main, the main city in South Africa and I've moved down for about a month to a place near Sedgefield in the Western Cape of South Africa uh, which is about six hours away from Cape Town and in the Western Cape there's a lot of Drosera so this morning we're going to Cape Town and along the way we're stopping at a nature reserve called Fernkloof Nature Reserve and we're actually going to go hiking and looking for some wild Drosera and see if we can see any nice uh, flowering species and specimens there so we're about 30 minutes away and let me just show you the mountain ranges here so here's our mountain range that we're going to now all along there and we're going straight for another 26 minutes for 23 kilometers can't wait to get there we've been in the car for four hours now Yesterday we drove down from Johannesburg down to Sedgefield and I drove for 12 and a half hours so this six hours is not really well this four hours is not nearly as bad as 
especially since we have a stop halfway, almost halfway through to Cape Town. So when we get there, I'll update you guys. So this is the road that heads up to Fernclough Nature Reserve. As you can see, the mountains literally right there. People running around and stuff. It's quite nice. But we're four minutes, four minutes away. Hey guys, so we're here. We haven't gotten all the way to the visitor center yet because we need to get there because this is the bathroom. But there's no pathway to it. And we've been driving up and down this flipping road trying to figure out how to get to the freaking bathroom but there's no part so we really don't know what to do we can't really walk through this stuff because you know <laughs> you can't walk through the, the wild stuff like that but it's still very pretty and so when we figure it out i'll let you guys know so we, we got to that little hut and it's literally nothing it's just an empty hut but we came down here, and you can see there, the sign says toilets, and it points to the right. And there's no toilets. The toilets are here. So, we came here. The girls' bathroom is actually locked. So we have to use the boys' bathroom. So Courtney's in here. And I have to wait. They should really actually mark these things up better, because how the hell are you going to point to the bathroom that's down there, and the bathroom's behind me? Like, what the hell? Okay, so the whole bathroom situation is finally finished and we got up now to the visitor center so we're just going to get our clothes and stuff ready for the hack put in some sunblock and then we're gonna go inside and get some maps so we're just getting ready and we found a turtle hey little guy and see the top of your shell looks like it's been crushed Shame. Let's make sure he gets across. Bye. Bye. He blends in really well, eh? There we go. So we're just putting on some sunblock and we've got our shoes. Changed and we got pepper spray. So, this is Courtney. Hi. <laughs> so, we're just gonna put on the pepper spray. We hear some people coming down and we're gonna get some maps from the visitor center and start our hack. So, we just got everything ready got on a reflective vest, a hat, sunblock, shoes, everything ready. And this is the visitor center. Just getting a map and looking at all the different specimens they have. This is a hyacinth. Quite pretty. So I guess they just get these, all these flowers from the mountain. Like every day, I guess. Or until they start wilting. They have a lot, it's really nice. Some different birds. Some more information, some type of grasses here. It's very nice. So we're just going to take our map and we're going to write down. Yeah. Gonna take our, our map and we're going to mark all of the all of the locations that we want to go to, all the different dress for locations and the regular so that we can follow it in here much easier than looking at our phones so we'll get back to you now okay and we just started now that's where we parked went across a little bridge a little river here and now we're on the trail going to the jeep track and we're gonna go from the jeep track to the um, Drosera site and you can see there's already so much uh, variety here of plants it's really nice
we see the ocean just down there. So when we get somewhere that is a little bit more interesting and just watching us walk, I'll get back to you. It hasn't been long since I last um, told you guys that what we were doing, but we already found our first Drosera. Wow. I don't even know which species this is. <laughs> 